Okay, cool. All right, Shalom, brothers. Shalom. Give me one second. All right, got to make sure everything's right. Shalom, brothers. Beautiful. All right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles, and others great millstone. Peace and blessings to the elect and you brothers out there. And I'm saying, so right now, I want to give you, uh, you brothers out there, an extra sense of urgency. Uh, turn it to the Lord because because put it this way as we see the these times closing though this is less and less of a chance that we could serve the Lord so we got to serve the Lord with haste you know what I'm saying be because like it says in the scripture seek ye the Lord while, while he may be found this is for the other people this is for these uh this is for these uh people that that are without the truth but this is also for us because because there's not going to be a camp in the kingdom we're not going to be uh, we're not going to be uh, pre preaching about Esau being the being the so-called white man to our thousands of wives. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to be no camp in the kingdom. So we got to put that work in right now and prove our word to Yahweh by Shai. Prove prove us to be worthy of His protection. Because you know you know you know you're going to need protection out here. Look what Esau is doing to these Jakes out in um, out during these protests. He's out here shoving people to the ground, tackling people. People are uh, trying to pray with him. He's he's saying, yeah, let's pray. Wraps his arm around their head and suplexes them to the ground. You see all this stuff going on. Esau is getting that real, real demonic E, -E spirit. Master E, evil E, vicious E spirit. So us knowing that, we got to serve the Yahweh B'Hashim Shai with haste. So this scripture is for us as well. To put to put in more, more work right now. This is Isaiah chapter 55 verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. So right now, you know, you see the brothers out there. Or you're doing the work yourself. You know what I'm saying? So you know the Lord is near. But, I mean, but, you know, also you see martial law. You see uh, these judgments out. You see all this out. So you know that the, the time is, is, is closing. These times, this grace period is, is about to close. The, the, the prophets are about to uh, leave the highways and hedges. You know what I'm saying? The mass influx is, is about to happen, and, the, and then uh, we'll see what happens. I don't even know how the Lord is going to set up his movie. You, you just know that, that he is. You know what I'm saying? And that's his name. He is. You know what I'm saying? So we got, we got to be serving you. How about Shimei al -Shah? We got to be putting in overdrive right now. You know what I'm saying? Doing what we can for the Lord. So when we go to sleep, we could go to sleep with an extra, extra uh, uh, bill of rest when, we, when you know you fulfilled your measure. You know what I'm saying? Romans chapter 13 verse 11 and that knowing that the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer <clears throat> than we believe right and what what comes with our salvation destruction because as this place is getting destroyed we're going to be getting saved and also you know that our salvation is closer by what the hell that's going on in the society so you see in all this destruction all this hell going on in this society you could tell that our salvation and our redemption is nigh but it also could be our destruction if the Lord doesn't see us be uh, see us as fruit meek for repentance, good fruit. Which is why we gotta continue to work to prove our work to the Lord. Cause like brothers say, there's not there's not gonna be a camp in the kingdom. You're not gonna be in the kingdom with a chariot uh, par parking your chariot around the corner and then going on the on the highways and hedges in the kingdom. The, the, you know what I'm saying? The time to preach, the time to prove the your word to the Lord is now. So do that. Because why our salvation is, is nearer than we believe. And a, and a whole lot of people, like brothers always go back to the Super Bowl, the Chiefs versus the 49ers. All, nobody was really expecting that, you know, everybody was eating Cheetos and hot dogs, jumping. Good, good game, bud. People weren't expecting uh, this to hit like this. People weren't expecting Yahweh Shimei Shai to, to, to close more pages on his movie like this. But he did. So we got to move accordingly. Certain brothers expecting it, but a lot of brothers, a uh, certain other brothers got caught off guard. Hoping that wasn't you. First Corinthians chapter seven verse twenty nine. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as as though they had none. So right, it, it, this is not only talking about your wife, because you could be like, well, I ain't got no girlfriend, so you know what I'm saying this scripture not talking about me. No, 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 no. This is talking about your wives. It's talking about. Uh, things that you care about uh, in this world certain distractions that you have in this world 
you gotta act you gotta it, it gotta be like you have none you gotta be homed in zoned in on this truth everything has to be secondary to this truth to the to the spirit of yahweh bashim yashai this should be the the thing that you're coveting coveting the spirit because because brothers can concur what if you don't have the spirit if you don't have just that feeling of of love and grace with yahweh bashim yashai you can't enjoy nothing around here like we always go to the example ask your boy p diddy my n-word p diddy ask ask him ask him if he could enjoy all those hoes and all that money and all those cars he has he can't why because he doesn't have the spirit and power yahweh bashim yashai so he doesn't feel that that love in his heart it's a lock here. so he doesn't he doesn't feel that peace that love in his heart but us us brothers that are serving the lord we do that's why the, that's why the elder brother elder brother always says uh a lot of these people they really want to be us they really want to be us because we have something that they don't and we have something that even though they have a lot of other things of this world they they will never have this they will never have a connection with the heavenly father and these these holes a lot of them are bugged out as well because they don't have a connection with the heavenly father they're burnt out thrusted out just finished looking for that vain uh uh 20 minutes of of of, pa of joy but 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 the joy that we're about to receive is going to be everlasting yeah how about shimao shai willing we're going to be able to look back at our work look back at all the things that you know situations that we went through and we're about to we're about to ha have a big sigh why because we put that we put that work in and the lord sees it as good so that's the mission i'm gonna read this again but this i say brethren the time is short right the lord is closing in on this kingdom the Lord, as you can see, martial law is getting closer and closer. So if they say martial law goes to where you can't even leave the house, how are we going to go down on the highways and hedges? And then if they shut the internet down, which in D.C., they already did that once before. They shut the whole grid down. And, and nobody from D.C. could get any words out. You couldn't talk to nobody from uh, D.C. So what does that mean? They already have the power and they already can and will uh shut the shut the whole internet down within a second so you brothers got to understand that we're, we're, in, we're in that time now we're in that time of the lord revealing him revealing more of his of his power we're in the time of a whole lot of wild stuff so you can't be going as, as if every day is just uh it's just uh you know what i'm saying just a bop boop beat boop day you know what i'm saying it remaineth that both they that had wives be as though they had none, right? Because you don't want nothing to be, uh, uh, um, what you call it, distracting you in these times. You want to be homed in and focused on your how about Shemel Shai. Because like it says in Matthew chapter 6, verse 33, you're going to get, if you have a wife, if you have a certain situations, you're going to get that and more if you serve the Lord first. So this got to be your first love. This got to be, this got to be your mastery. This is uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse uh, uh, verse 24. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. Right, so you got to run with uh, with conviction. You got to run with that sure surety that you'll win. Not running, all right, this, this, that, uh, if this happened, nah, nah, this. Nah, you got to run with that surety that you're going to make it, that you're going to win, that you're going to get first place. That's that's the mentality that you have. That's why even though we say, Lord, you how about Shimi Asha, willing, we're one of the elect. We believe that we're one of the elect. We believe that we are one of those men. And that's the, that's the way you got to think. And don't don't let nobody tell you you're proud for thinking that, because as long if you're doing if you're doing the work, and uh, you're doing the works, and you're in the spirit of, of one of the elect. Why can't you be one of the elect? Why can't you be one of the chosen children of Yahweh Bashim Yashai from the foundation of the earth? Why not? Who, uh, 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 who, what, is, what is that for? Not saying. Oh, they say who's got it better than us? I, th I thought it was uh, somebody else, but but you know why not you? Why not you to be one of the chosen men of Yahweh Bashim Yashai? Why not? And every man that striveth for the mastery is tempered in all things, right? So you got to be tempered in all things. Just like somebody who's uh, trying to be a top track runner, they're not drinking off their butts 24-7, eating Cheetos morning, morning till night, not never working out. They're tempered in all things. So that's how you got to be in this truth as well. You got to be studying. You got to be watching. You got to be praying. You got to be having, uh, you got to have something to, to speak about. And how do you do that? By watching. That's how, that's how, that's what helps you, uh, gives you, give you something to speak about. 
Because you see, and that's how you measure the times. You go to the scriptures and you see what's going on in the world and you measure the times. So if you're not watching, if you're not praying, if you're not, if you're not seeing what's going on, how could you truly measure the times? Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible, right? Because these people who run these track races and stuff like that, they do that, what they do to contain a, a, a corruptible crown. If somebody comes in and steals that gold medal, that it's, it's kaput. But us an incorruptible crown because nobody could take this uh, this truth nobody could take the love of Yahweh Bashim Yashai from you except Yahweh and Yahweh Shai you know what I'm saying that I therefore so run not as uncertainly right so not running okay I'm gonna just get fifth place okay I'm running I ain't gonna make it but I'm just gonna run blah blah blah, blah. nah we're running not as uncertainly so fight I not as one that beateth the air right so we're not just doing this just to do it we're doing this because we believe we are one of those men. But I keep under my body and bring it to subjection, right? So don't be overindulging in nothing right now. You know what I'm saying? Uh, ha have a good balance with everything that you do. <clears throat> Lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. And this should be this is one of your this should be one of your worst fears. This is every brother who's in the truth right now, this is one of their worst fears to fall out of the faith. That's what that's one of the brothers' worst fears. To fall out of, out of the faith after they uh, taught men, had men uh, cleave unto them, and, and then and then they fall out. Ain't nobody want that. So that's why you gotta hold yourself fast in the in the in the in the truth of the Lord, because you don't want the Lord to 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 give you that bit that big boot. You know what I'm saying? And if you are weak, if you are lacking right now, you see the title of this video. You're, we're in the proven time, so you need you need to uh bring jump out of that weak spirit and prove, prove and um. And uh, continue to prove yourself, because because you know America hasn't been destroyed yet. You still see the prophets out there, so you still got a shot too. So you got to get back on your horse, right? Like right now, right now. First Peter chapter one verse ten, of which salvation of the prophets. Ah, uh, is this it? Uh, of which salvation of the prophets inquired diligently, searched diligently, of the grace should come to you. Uh, now I was doing that give due diligence to get your calling, make your calling of election sure. Give due diligence Se uh, 2 Peter 1 verse 10 God 2 Peter chapter 1 verse 10 Give due diligence to make your calling an, uh, an election sure for if you do these things, you shall never fall, right? So certain, so you shouldn't get in the spirit, well, I'm going to just do all this and I'm going to fall out, you know what I'm saying? Because you don't know if you're one of the elect, so I might as well not do nothing. Nah, 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 nah. The real men of the elect, they're going to have the this, this, this spirit to give their due diligence. They're not going to leave it up to chance. Why would you leave anything up to chance? Just just go hard and, and then uh, you'll, you'll be one of the elect. Because even though, yeah, uh, the Lord knows who's his, you still you still got to do what you got to do. Don't be a reprobate because that's a reprobate spirit to be like, I'm not going to do nothing. And then if I'm one of the elect, it is what it is. Uh, and if I'm not, I'm not. You know what I'm saying? That's a reprobate spirit. You got to give your due diligence. So you got to you got to go hard in the paint. You got to you got to be uh, going hard in this faith. For if you do these things, you shall never fall. Right. So if you're if you're going hard, if you're using the gifts that the Lord gave you, he has no, no reason to take it away from you. No, he can if he still wants to, but you know what I'm saying? It's not how it's going to be. Uh, is this what I was looking for? No, I was looking for that. Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, Baruch chapter 30, verse 20. I mean, this is Baruch chapter 4, verse 28. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. Right, so the, the brother, the brother Debarim, he always goes into like a kid. If he's at a store and he loses his parent, he's walking around, he's scared, he's scared and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And then once he once he finds his parent again, he's he's clutching onto that uh, pant leg right crazy. So that's how we got to be. If you were low in the spirit, once once the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua has mercy upon you, not to uh, kick you out, but redeem you and you get boosted in the spirit again, you got to go hard. Why? Because like the scripture says, as it was your mind to go astray. You know, even though situations happen, you still went astray. But you got to seek the Lord ten times more. The Lord was, was testing you. See if you'll uh, you'll give up. But 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 you didn't, and you're still in this faith. 
So you got to keep going. You got to keep going. You got to seek the Lord ten times more. Second Timothy chapter two verse twenty one. If a man therefore purgeth himself from these, he shall be a vessel unto honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use. Right. This is all what we want to want to be. We want to be seen as good in Yahweh Bashemiah's eyes to be good for use. That's why we're his vessel. Because this is not of ourselves. We're just vessels of the Lord. So we, we pray that we're vessels unto honor. Not, not uh, vessels unto dishonor. Vessels that'll uh, be lukewarm and stuff like that. Nah, not Lord willing, not us. Lord willing, we're vessels unto honor. So that's that's the spirit. That's the spirit you gotta be in. You gotta be. You got. You want to be that good vessel. You want to be a strong vase. You don't want to be a vase with a bunch of holes in it. You know what I'm saying? It has no color. Nah, you want to be a, a strong vase. Uh, ha have a have a. You know what I'm saying? Flowers spurting out of you. That's what. That's how you want to be unto the Lord. Honor, sanctified, and meet for the master's use, and prepared unto every good work. Right? What are those good works? Going out on the highways and hedges and preaching the words of Yahweh Bashmi Al Shai and truth to sincerity. What are the other good works? Praying, breeding a brother, doing all the law, statutes, and the commandments. Those are good works of the Lord. So we, you got to be doing that. You got to be a vessel unto honor. Why? Because the time is short. You see, Esau is closing in on his new world order. Oh, there, there was a viral, uh, there was a viral tweet today. Saying that uh, Esau was causing all this trouble to to bring in martial law, and that had set that had a, a seventy eight thousand uh, likes when when it was in the evening, so it probably has a hundred thousand by now. So we're in that time. We're in that time of since Esau is being exposed, pretending to Obadiah chapter one verse six, pretending to Second Thessalonians chapter second, pretending to first or second Thessalonians. I think it's Second Thessalonians chapter two verse three. Esau is being exposed right now. So Revelation chapter 2 verse 10 is going to come in effect and he is going to come with great wrath. Why? Because you already know what's happening. If you already if you already know like we're playing football, right? If you keep if you already know that we're going to run every play, after a while, we just going to keep running. Especially if you can't stop it, we just going to be like, "F it. You know we're going to run, but you can't stop it. My running back is bigger than your linebackers or whatever, or he has better cuts or we have better offensive linemen." So we just they just going to keep running it. But they're going to go crazy with it. That's that's how Esau is going to do. Because he knows that we all, the jig is up. Everybody knows what Esau is going to do. The Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah Shai, is blessing, is blessing people with the with that, uh, with that pieces of the understanding. Because they don't have that full understanding, but they got certain aspects of it. And this is the ultimate goal. To be fruit, to, to be fruit meek for repentance. And bring forth fruit meek for repentance. You got to bring forth good fruit in this faith. Just like a car salesman, you know what I'm saying? We're all employed by one by one uh, business. Say we're em employed by Honda. You got to you gotta be uh, bringing people in that are willing to buy more Hondas. You can't just bring people uh, all, every time uh, somebody asks you, you know, you know, uh, you know uh, what, 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 what are you bringing in? They're, you're like, oh, I, I just brought somebody and uh, he, he ain't, he ain't going to uh, buy a Honda. He's just here talking. Nah, you got to bring forth fruit, meat for repentance. And that's what you got to be as well. Good, good fruit. Unto you, how about Shemiah Shai? I'm going to end off on this. This is Matthew chapter 3. This is Matthew chapter 3, verse 8. Bring forth, therefore, fruit, fruits, meat for repentance. Right, and this is, the, this is the spirit that we should all be in. To be good fruits ourselves and to, and to bring forth good fruits unto you, how about Shemiah Shai? As many as we can. Because like it says in uh, Corinthians... We're all striving for the masteries. We all want to be the best we could be in this faith. And the best for Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Because all the stuff he's done for us, we want to be, we want to be the best for him. I don't want any spirit. This is this is me speaking. I don't want any spirit but a fervent spirit. I don't want any spirit at all but a fervent spirit. Why? Because I know me myself, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Al Shai has done a whole lot for me. So I, I don't even want to even think about a, a spirit that's lacking because he's done a whole lot for me. He's even brought me to the truth where I could possibly get saved and not die with you piece of garbage, worthless, stinky, ugly, disgusting, smelly Edomites or die with you bird brain, coon, uh, stupid, Esau loving, uh, ugly Jake's out here. I don't got I don't, the Lord. The Lord, yeah, how about Shemiah Shai may set it up to where I don't have to die amongst you.
So, so that's why I, I, I pray and I want and I will always want to be in a fervent spirit. I don't even want to think about a, 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 a lukewarm spirit. Because the Lord is going to spew you out. Might as well get that and end on that. It's not that it's not it's not the time for none of that. You gotta you gotta pray that spirit off. You gotta bang that spirit off you. It's Revelation chapter three verse six first verse fifteen. I know thy works that thou art neither cold nor hot. Right when you eating when you eating food, you eating food like ice cream. You want it cold. You want it cold. Right. Or when you eating when you go to a restaurant, you want potatoes. You want uh. You want a uh, hot food, you want steak, you want it hot. You don't want no uh you don't want no lukewarm food, some melted ice cream or some uh, uh some hot food without no steam in it. You don't want that. So the Lord doesn't want you like that either. He wants you cold nor hot, all all the way in or all the way out. Don't be like, "Alright, I'm going to just get, be all the way now out." Nah, we got to be all the way in. I would that were cold nor or hot. So then because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. And this is this is the brother's worst fear to fall out of the faith. Nobody wants that. So we got to continue in the in the, in the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai, so we don't fall out of the faith, and pray that spirit off you, and pray that we are in hope that we are one of the elect, because the elect men they're not going to fall off of, out the faith. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. By Shem Rakakadash, double honest to the apostle and others, great millstone. Peace and blessings to you brothers out there. You know, you brothers continue to uh continue to watch and and, and pray and and hope that uh hope that you are one of those men through the reincarnation that, that are vessels unto honor, that are uh fruit meek for repentance. Those blessed those blessed men back then coming back now, getting ready to receive your crown. Because the time is the time is short. So we gotta prove our word to the Lord right now, like right now, right now. So with that, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How about Shemiah Shai? And uh, Shalom and Tawah, brothers.